we're going to go over installation of Doxel on Ubuntu Linux. Ubuntu Linux uh, has an advantage over Mac and Windows in, in this scenario because we don't need to install VirtualBox in order to run Doxel. So we'll just follow the instructions that you can find uh, here on doxel.readthedocs.io but it's pretty easy to do. Here I am SSH'd into my Linux box and let's see if Thin installed and I now have the Thin command available to me and let's install all the tools that Thin needs to run. I'll pause the screen recording while this runs Okay, we have successfully installed Doxel on Linux. Let's try to create a demo site just to, just to see if it worked. Okay, so here we can run thin up. This happens the first time you you run thin up on a system. You have to download all of the Docker images from Docker Hub. And it takes a second, but I'll pause the screen recording while it runs. Okay, our uh, site finished uh, finished installing. In the interest of full disclosure, I did have to. Uh, it got stuck midway through, and I did have to abort it. With I just hit Control C to abort, and then ran Thin up again, and then it worked on the second try. This this actually happens sometimes if uh, if the Docker Hub itself is having problems. There's not really anything we can do about it within Doxel. Just uh, Docker Hub doesn't have um, in unlimited bandwidth or uh, or perfect availability. But anyway, our, uh, our our site is now running inside of our, our Ubuntu server, um, and I can see all my services running. So just just like we saw on the Mac, we have CLI server, a DB server, and a web server all running as containers inside this Ubuntu host. And uh, I, I don't have, I can't connect to it with a web browser because this is just a, this is a CLI only uh, server. But what I can do is I can send a request to my examples, example.doxel site with curl, and we can see that we get an, uh, a 404 error message, but it's the Apache error message. So we know, because we just installed Apache, we know that uh, we, uh, we're hitting the Doxel server that we just created. To prove it even, even further, I'll create a Docker directory. And I'll put an index.html file. Now when I send a request to the Doxel server, I should get back hello world. And there we go. Doxel is running and it just served its first page. This has been installing Doxel and Linux.